Hi. Uh, welcome back to good old um. Welcome back to flies. If you know what I'm saying. He is down here. Yeah, I can't down here because he's. I figured he'd probably take care of uh, at least some of them. Yeah, I see him down down there at the bottom. Oh, that bit rate. Oh! <laughs> Alright, let's go get the others. Uh, we should be able to finish Curse of Strahd today. I need to get pulled up is Curse of Strahd itself. Exactly what I wanted him to do down there. <laughs> yeah, where is it? Oh, it's like so far up here. my audio hello hello are you there hi hello and yes hello would you like to explain what life happens means um i needed to pick up bella and then i was in the middle of doing other things so when i came back i was like oh i need to finish this now oh what other things yeah just working on other videos and besides, this uh, this won't take that long. No, not really. We're basically just gonna be running straight to Strahd's castle. Yeah, like, but because no even, point, even like, inside of the castle, castle, like you don't know where he is. I mean, that's the problem. I mean, where? Okay, out of character. Where is he? Like, I'm not gonna use it in character, just because. Hey, I mean, we might be able to benefit some. We can't really benefit from going to the Amber Temple. But I'm yeah, no, don't just go to the castle, please. Oh, is he just in the castle? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, where in the castle? Um. That was up to the DM's choice. Okay. God, why are there so many dang flies down here? What the hell? I don't know. I bought well, Nani down here. Is honestly going to either turn into like this epic fight because, you know, there's two things here with over 100 HP and one thing that has dang near 100. Because if I remember correctly, Vampire Spawn have 75. Yeah. Uh, 
or it's just gonna be Will does a thing. And uh... yeah, I hope you realize, like, the, this man's gonna be like, I want to charm Will. Okay, you can try. <laughs> like, basically, here's here's what I'm gonna say. Get to your turn. Or if this man rolls over a 15 and immediately murders this man. Over 15 in initiative, it is game end for Strahd. It is game end. <laughs> you need to realize because this man's proficiency bonus went up, his plus to hit is like 15. So, in other words, he's <laughs> always. I wish to puke. He's always rolling over a 15 with that. Yeah. Oh, is that Strahd's AC? No, the weapon. The fucking weapon. No, the weapon is on initiative. It's a, it's specifically an initiative roll of 15 or higher. like on the. Dime, what is Strahd's on... AC? Now that you have me curious. It's not very high. It's, he's a oh my god, that man needs to roll a 1. <laughs> Wait, even if he rolls a 1 because it's a 15! Oh no, he can't miss! But, technically can because a crit fail is a crit fail, some way a critical hit is a critical hit. The only problem is, if he critical hits, Strahd fucking dies. Because, okay, doing a little number testing, if Will just expends all of his uh grit points on one hit and then takes the sharpshooter fee like takes that minus five and then crits so without critting without doubling the damage he did 50. Mm -hmm. now double it and it uh -oh. doesn't even matter if belwar activates the uh icon of ravenloft to summon the sun gosh this fight's basically gonna boil down to can strahd outspeed will and will just says did somebody ring the dingster and then proceeds to fire a gun eight times yeah this man's in k25 he's in the audience okay. hall Uh, hi, Lucas. I'm already going. I've been streaming and recording. Good. Ooh, nice. <laughs> they got us going. Yeah, so Will just genuinely has... I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna see if it went up I'm that playing high. Mario Kart. Oh, nice. With your mom. Uh... Oh, no, sorry. My bad. 14. <laughs> Hello, Noah. I am your father. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a good start. Fine. Three stars. <laughs> what just happened? There's four other people in my dorm room right now. Three. Three other people in my dorm room. Well, that is your mother. Yeah, your, mom, your mom's in here. Can you hear anything at all? Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping you can hear everything that they're saying. Yeah. Okay. That's because... He's back, okay. Hi, you're back. So, theater of the mind. Uh... Sure, good old root of all beers. Why not? <laughs> um, what? Hold on, I'll do this.
Someone, someone in chat be asking Theodore the body because it's literally just a picture of like me, and I'm like, yeah, sure. Sure, bud. Whatever. Oh, whatever is there, are there actually people watching right now? Apparently, there's someone. Uh, yeah. How many? One person, apparently. Oh, that sick. One dude dude, wasn't there like, really wasn't there like two or three out. yesterday? I don't like that. Why are there so many dang flies? Wow, he's really moving up in the world, isn't he? We're only getting them big boy, big boy numbers. They grow up so fast. I'm not wasting this thing with him. Anyways, um, so you guys are currently in Kresk. Yeah. Why are we in Kresk four? Uh, because that's because that's where, where you left, left off. Because we, <laughs> we killed the tree. I just like you can just see my cat in the background here, just going fucking bonkers because I let him down here because I was like, eat all of the flies, please. Does, does Nani like flies? Nani eats flies. Yeah, flies. yeah. N Nani's he's chomping down on those boys. <laughs> I could either use a fly swatter or I could be lazy and be like, please do your job, animal. Here, cat. Just my cat doesn't do that. There was a we, one time we had a mouse come into the house and she just stared at it. It was really funny. Because my mom was freaking the fuck out, and the, my cat was just looking at the mouse like, hello. Hi, hi. All right, okay, so, I am going to assume that you guys just go to the castle. Can we plug the corner? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, like, that's really all we can do. It's just like, alrighty, we have no real reason to go anywhere else we have no real reason to do anything except your mom <laughs> how do you guys keep missing all of the random encounters <laughs> like literally i just had to roll three of them because you're going all the way to goddamn castle ravenloft <laughs> and you got nothing Uh, um, are we are we on our way to to Rassel Cave and Loft right now? Yeah, you are there. Oh, we're gonna go fight him. Oh no, we don't fight him there. Never mind. Yeah, you do. Uh oh, I thought you said. Where's the vampires in the castle? No, if 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 it just goes, I don't know where he is. Man, it basically means it's up to the other choice at this point. It's just why not be in the castle? There's literally no other good place for you to be. Yeah, because if he's not in the castle, uh... <laughs> that's out of his layer. Yep. Is this going to be the last session, then, for this? Yeah. Or is it going to be... Oh. Very cool. Nah, this should be the last session. Um... Oh, that's a whole bunch of fucking... Shit. Okay, so you. I, I mean, I'm not gonna assume that no one's gonna die, but there's a real chance we could get through this without anyone dying. Yeah. Oh, oh, with this final fight, I guarantee you at least one person's going to die. It's just whether or not that one person is strawed. Well, I mean, I mean, none of the main characters. Probably. Like, none of our guys. I don't know. I I beefed up this man a little bit in terms of his spells. Mm, righty, we are at Castle yeah, no, so you are You are in the front courtyard right now. Okay. Cold fog swells through the front courtyard. Um I will note it is raining. Because, you know, welcome to goddamn Castle Ravenloft. This man was like, fuck it, it will always be raining. Uh, thick and cold fog swirls through this courtyard. 
Sporadic flashes of lightning erupt from the clouds overhead as thunder shakes the ground. The drizzle you can see kind of makes the torch flames like flutter a little bit. Um, flicker? Yeah, flicker, flutter. I, I'm literally reading fluttering is literally the word that's used here. Fluttering? Alright. Uh, yeah, that still works for like torch light. Then what? Why did you oh, crash me? You have slightly misspoken before, so it's basically just you misspeaking now. What are we doing? What are we doing here? It's what Tony. What are we doing here? All right. Okay. Anyways, only the tiger. All right. Yeah. Uh, warm light kind of spills out of the entrance, flooding the courtyard. High above the entrance is a round window with shards of glass. Kind of broke. Bards of glass. Glassed. 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 Uh, I mean, might as well keep going. Just kind of soldier on. Alright, so you're... You're going through, like, the middle of the courtyard? I... I mean, that's really our only doorway, ain't it? Like, our only way further into the castle yeah all right so you kind of start going into the castle uh you reach what's known as the overlook mm. uh is one of you like peering over the balcony nope does anybody have a passive wisdom of above 15 um i would be Uh, let me see. Um, I believe Belwar should. I could just be cruel and have him fight you somewhere entirely different, but I'm not going to. Dark clouds overhead constantly uh, drizzle constantly. A flagstone avenue passes between the empty buildings, leading to a stone paved overlook. The overlook has a low stone wall adorned with a outward facing gargoyle carvings. Um, underneath the platform on which you stand on, 100 feet down, a stone construction protrudes from the cliff face. Three dirt-caked windows are set into it. Can I- there- is there- wait, the dirt cake? Can I eat the dirt cake? <laughs> I mean, you can certainly try. It is up to you. Teddy. Do you want to eat the dirt cake? I do not. We want to eat the dirt cake. Okay, but we're not eating the dirt cake. Yeah, good. 110 feet. If you had failed the save, you would have just fallen all of that and probably died. This man would just just I like dirt and then fall asleep. <laughs> I love me some dirt. <clears throat> Um, so, well, Castle Ravenloft, um, you keep going, and eventually you reach the entryway. Mm -hmm. uh, the doors to the castle are open. They're flanked by torches, um... Twenty feet inside is a second set of doors. Second set of doors. Wow. Oh, uh, the doors in front of you suddenly swing open, revealing a grand hall filled with sound of organ music. Ooh. This man out here playing some church hymns, you know. Church him, so he's, he's playing piano, man. On an organ. 
He sings. He says, it, "This song is Organ Man." Organ Man, man. take me by the hand, lead me to the organ. The sand. Oh, and... Uh, yeah, basically. Um. So, you guys are now in K8, which is the great entryway. What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck is this map? Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay, there you are. Uh, cobwebs stretch between the columns that support the vaulted ceiling of great, of this great, dusty, dimly lit hall. Uh, slip by sputtering torches, you know, as normal inside a castle Ravenloft. Everything is just kind of broken. Mm -hmm. Uh, the torches kind of cast odd shadows on the faces of eight stone gargoyles squatting motionless in the domed ceiling. Uh, cracked and faded, the ceiling, uh, frescoes are covered by decay. So there used to be, like, a painting on the ceiling, but, uh, it, 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 it old. Because I actually know what a fresco is because of art history class. Fuck yeah. Mm. Double doors of bronze stand I closed know, oh, to the what, east. You know what, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do something smart. Maybe smart. Probably smart. Mm hmm. Before uh, anything happens, really, just, just as a precautionary measure, I'm gonna have uh, my friend Teddy put on his cloak of invisibility. One person being invisible! What? What did you say? You cut out. What did you your, say? Your audio has been cutting out, my guy. One person being invisible. Yeah. Hey, you never know. Teddy is a stealthy boy. He likes yeah, to that's be stealthy. Point. What if I get a what if I get a coup de gras with, with Teddy? It's a fucking boar, I swear. <laughs> yeah. I mm, this boar just did a whole elbow drop just wait. <laughs> boar. Funny noise. Huh? Okay, what? so you know the YouTuber Pro Jared? Yeah. So he had a D and D series, and back in what was it, like third edition, there was this thing called a coup de gras. Or if you're uncultured and pronounce things as American as possible, a coup de gras. It basically mm -hmm. meant I'm pretty sure it was like it was basically a finishing blow. Yeah, like, yeah. Was down I, I know what that means. Yeah. So he got downed by a boar and the boar just fuck it <laughs> because anything can do a coup de gras anything including a boar alright okay so oh that's fun Uh, a lit hallway contains another set of bronze doors, which you hear sad, majestic organ tones. You know, you hear. Um, very sad, very majestic. An elf with brown skin and long hair descends from the wide staircase, quiet as a cat. He wears a glowy cloak over black studded leather armor. And has a polar simpar hanging from his belt. My master is waiting for you, says Rahadin. Hello. Take us to him. Hello, Rahadin. Uh, before we go anywhere, can I confirm that that is an astronaut in the ocean playing on the organ? No. Is it's Medi had a little lamb, you fuck. 
<laughs> Young cultured <laughs> swine. Those definitely, I'm definitely is. Mary had a little lamb is the best song to play on Oregon. That or you know, Mary has a voice in the ocean at all. Mary has an astronaut suit. No, oh, no, not Mary. And she's using it at the depths of the uh, ocean. No. Alright, so he needs you over to K10. You walk in and you immediately recognize, uh, hey, this is the dining hall. And you see Strahd sitting at the organ, kind of, you know, just pounding away, you know. Uh, what do you do? He's an organ. Um, he's gonna take his whiskey flask, his trusty whiskey flask that has helped him through so many of his ventures, and just pelt it at the back of Strahd's head. Because we were fighting him. So uh, it yeah, goes well. through Strahd. Um, it kind of like goes through him, and you just hear a laugh, just ah, 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 as the uh, organ vanishes. Not the, the uh, straw vanishes, and the organ music you, stops. Is oh, the entire organ? No, the music. Okay, you said as the organ vanishes, will just. Will... I corrected myself. All right, so just straw vanishes. Will just go. Fuck. He's like, well, at least we can get Rahadin to help. But turns around, Rahadin's gone. Motherfucker, alright. Rahadeen is still right here, he's like, I just want to let you have some fun. Alright, great, we'll go get your flask. He runs over to the piano, grabs his flask, runs back. He's like, alright, great, can, they, can you actually take us to where he is? Nadine, just let me go pick up a vampire spawn first. Huh? That thing, just let me go pick up somebody first. Uh, all right. Ooh. I want to go home. I want to. I want to kill Strahd. I want to go home. Oh, you are not going to be killing him today. We are. Uh, Rodin walks a good deal away, and he says, "Get a goodie." Come with me. And um, one of these vampire spawn just comes out and says, My name Gregory. You know. Your your name is Pillsbury now. Because you've got a doughy white face. My name Jeff. That's a funny joke. Mm. Wario Stadium. That's... That's where we're carting right now. Uh, Fat Boy Stadium. Oh boy, well this is about to be a fun one. All right, here we go, lads. Here we go. Oh, we just about to just get straight into the straw fight. <laughs> I want to say something, but I'm not going to say it. The N word? No. Okay, good, because that would have got you in trouble. God, the, where? You can, you, can, you can feel the anticipation in the air. Yeah, I know, because I gotta find the fucking room this man is in. He's in your mom's room. <laughs> I mean, he could definitely be in his mother's room, and it kind of makes him sad and depressed. I mean, considering his mother's room is a fucking tomb, yeah. If you like joke, my joke, you can come watch me at the joke man at AOL.com. Wait, you're playing you stupid. Yeah. Warrior Stadium.
So you Ooh. guys walk into this pretty massive ass room. Mm. Ass room. Uh, standing, not standing, sitting in the middle of it, in a wooden chair, is the boy himself. Hello, it is I, Strahd von Zedevich. You. Hi. You. Hello, before we do this, may I talk to one of you? No. Uh, shut up, I do not fucking care. Hello, Teddy. What? No, fuck off. Lamau. You can't even see me. I got my cloak on. Oh yeah, he had his cloak of invisibility on. <laughs> I'll be right back. I actually think I forgot to grab something. Oh. Yeah, no, I did not grab Strahd's spell list. Can I can I actually call that that Strahd does not actually see Teddy because I, I mean it's like... a cloak of invisibility he wouldn't be able to he can't unless yeah, he so has the spell see invisibility and counted heads. So can we go back like thirty seconds to when he says hello Teddy Teddy just doesn't respond as not to <laughs> Strahd knows he's there like invisible or something and it's just trying to see if he can get him to respond and slip up. Yeah. So Teddy does not actually say and anything. Teddy's just sitting there quietly, arms crossed. Thinking about what he what to do next. He's like, hmm, I could stab him or I could Including shoot him. including Good potentially choice. um sneaking around behind him and stabbing him. To do damage before the thing starts. Back. Uh, I had to go get my spell, my list of spells for Shroud. Uh, um, invisible, but did you not hear that first? Are you invisible? Okay, yeah. I can did. I, 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 Would you that? I have headphones. I could hear you. Okay. Hey, I didn't know you didn't say anything. Because I was not here. Do you have those spells that we were talking about then? That's what I was looking at. And what I was grabbing, uh, no. Okay, so then he doesn't know that he's there. <laughs> so he's, he's Although, like arguably, he might because he has sprying, but eh. That still wouldn't give him the ability to see invisible things. Which yeah, is but he really weird if someone's ever tried to scry on an invisible creature because it just shows you an empty room. Like, well, fuck, my crystal orb is broken. Does the warranty still work on this thing? Do I even get a warranty? Because it's a ball of glass. He kind of looks and he says, "I see you're missing one." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. Go ahead and roll me deception. Okay. Like I said, roll deception. Uh, my deception's not gonna change. It is still a. Plus three. Uh, how is a nineteen plus three? So twenty-two. Damn it! This man rolled a seventeen. Yeah, he believes you. What? He believes you. He, he says so he got him. I assume that one of my creatures must have gotten him on the way here. Yeah. It yeah. Was yeah, Rahadeen uh, chimes in and says, good. um... It was really sad, we cried. Rahadeen chimes in and says, He was not here when we got here. Yes, yeah, sir. Your, your audio is glitching out, man. We can't hear a sword. Rahadeen chimes in and says, He was not here when he got here. Like I said, man, your audio has been glitching out. We, we can't understand a word. <laughs> Because all I was able to understand was Rahadeen. Yeah. Hello? 
Yeah, now 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 you're clear. Alright, uh Rahadeen chimes in and says he was not here when we when they got here, Master, so I don't know what would would have killed him. Like we said, it was those druids, man, they were vicious. Yeah, we we cried a bunch. So I I actually prefer if you don't bring it up, to be honest. It's very very offensive. Yeah. I mean I strode one service and nothing if not offensive. <laughs> I I do on occasions offend the very laws of nature itself. Look, man, when you're a straw von sandwich and a zombie and you know a vampire, you know you kind of are just a big old giant with my little fucking finger to that thing called death. True, but also not really. Oh, really? Oh no, that was out of character. That was just because. Eh, not really. You are undead. You have technically died. If anything, death is laughing, because it's like, ah, go fuck yourself. I'm like, I don't have to look after your stupid soul. If anything, death is laughing, because death is out here, like, we're having fun. He's like, my guy, if anything, you suffer. I don't, because I don't have to look after your stupid soul. I win. do a bit of trolling. It's called we do a bit of trolling. We do a bit of trolling. We do a bit of trolling. It's called we do a little trolling. Okay. Hmm. He kind of looks at you guys and he says, "So I, I assume you're here to kill me." Yeah. That's that's the plan. That's that's kind of the plan. You know. Sorry. What can I ask? What makes you any different than the past fifteen million that tried to kill me? That's a lot we'll, of Will we'll just, like, heaven. look down at this, like, probably really expensive, like, carpet they're on, and just pops open his, his flask, sp like, splashes some of his wine on it, takes a sip, and goes, Because I got a big dick. Is it actually been that many? That's ac I'm actually, I might be having second thoughts if it's actually been that many people that have tried to do this. Uh, that's about a right number. <laughs> How long have you been doing this, man? Oh, about 900 years or so. Yeah, about, yeah, that's actually a pretty accurate number. Million people in 900 years. Have, how, like, do you have people come to try to kill you daily? Not daily. Cool. How many people have you had try to kill you in, like, the past couple days? None, because I've been focusing on you. Oh. <laughs> I I haven't been home to talk to the other adventurers. Has Osamu Dazai, by any chance, come into your room and asked, asked to, to be killed by you? What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, didn't I didn't think you'd get that, but it was funny. You, if you look it up, you'll get it. Uh, anyways, um, so Srahad kind of says, Shame it had to end like this, but he like draws his sword. Uh, would you wish for us to roll initiative now? Wait, before that, uh, uh, Teddy by this point is, is, is behind him and is going to stab at him. Roll stealth! Teddy's, Teddy's been doing a light jog this entire time. Yeah. Then, no, Ted. Teddy was Teddy. Teddy's no, Teddy, been there for Teddy a while. Near and me, and I'm hey, gonna tell you Teddy. Why Teddy, what? stay near me. <laughs> what? I can give you benefits. I can't do that if he runs all the way across the fucking room. Well, okay, you know what? Maybe I can, depending on how big the room. How big is the room? Feet wise. Like. Yeah. I know. Give me a minute. Like, from where we're standing to where Strahd is, how much space would you say that is? Uh, about six squares. Six squares? How many... Okay, so I'm assuming average still ten feet in a square? Yeah. 
Okay, never mind. Teddy can. Teddy is just barely in range of my ability. Oh, can. Roll stealth. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's invisible, so he should have advantage on it. I do. I would have advantage on that. Yeah. Um. Good thing Dex is, like, one of his highest stats, probably. Yeah, that was the whole point of doing this, is that my Dex, my Dex is a fucking plus five. Um, all right. Let's, let's -a go. Okay, that's an, uh, a 19. Um, you get very close and then Strahd kind of turns around because he thinks he hears something. That's what did this man roll on perception? Yeah, roll perception. Uh, uh nine plus bad. nine. Oh. Eighteen. Actually, Eighteen. Nine, no, 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 wait, yes. nine plus eleven. So, if anything... He has a plus eleven in perception. Oh, what did he roll? A nine. Oh, nine. Oh, no, okay, he's good. He... <laughs> He is just like, wait a minute. He thinks he hears something. Yeah, he's so like, he turns around. I feel like I, I, feel like I heard yeah, something. So Teddy, what are you? Teddy's there. He right. turns around and he kind of moves away from the sound a bit. Teddy's. If you get what I'm saying. Oh, fuck, I'm I, can, I, can mm. still, I can still shoot him. Yeah, you can still shoot him. I'm going to shoot him. Then. Before combat starts, just. Shoot a quick arrow into him. Yep, that's the plan. All right, roll me accuracy. Accurate, okay. Like roll the hit. Roll the hit. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's what accuracy is. Roll the hit. Okay. Action <laughs> that's. <laughs> uh, that's a. 22. God damn it, yeah. That hits. Yep. Who's rolling the damage? Also, not only that, actually, no, it's not a 22. That's a, that's a 26. Oh. I forgot my attack. The, the attack bonus is actually plus seven, not plus. Mm. Uh, I mean, yeah. that's still definitely All right. roll damage. That'll be eleven damage. Uh, give me a second. That's how. I've never played Grand Prix in this game before. Played first mode. I like the way you play Grand Prix. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. My computer's just yeah. being slow. Alright. Alright. So, how much damage? 11? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Alright, 133. Well, wait, hold on. Let me make sure that I don't have any plus, like, extra pluses or anything. Or, like, uh, yeah, because what, what? He uh, is a rogue, I believe. All right, so you might want to check. Just well, he has a plus attack. five in, like, it's 1d6 plus five. I wouldn't give him a sneak so... attack because he was noticed. And I'm just going to make sure I don't yeah, have well, yeah, first, no, like, a stealth rogue hit. Sneak attack, like, it's a... Which... Now, I don't know if that works on ranged weapons as well. 
Like I said, he was noticed. So you'd have to check. Yeah, let me. I'm looking. Like I said, he was noticed. No, well, no. We know he's. Uh, we know he's outside of like melee range, but we're more wondering about like. Yeah, but I don't think he would get a sneak attack because you know. he was noticed. Uh, sneak attack, from what I remember, it's all that really matters is you have advantage. Um, I need to hold on. Let me check off. Check oh, off. Wait, do check. I have advantage? I have advantage. You, right? You'd have advantage because it's your advantage. Oh, but it doesn't. Cool. Okay, then I get five d six extra damage. Yeah, because sneak attack. It yeah. does work because you have. Uh, specifically, you just need advantage. Which is the funny thing about sneak attack. Technically, you don't e even need to be sneaking. Okay, then let me um, uh, go ahead and do that. So that's holy shit. That's that's twenty seven extra. I I rolled I rolled four sixes. That is spicy numbers. So you like to see here. So, yeah. Oh, okay, so weirdly enough, Shroud kind of looks, some um, not that damaged. 11, so 11 plus 27. That's 39, or 38. 38, 38 damage right there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like I said, you hit him, it ruled it, you can tell it did a lot of damage, but Shroud just is like, I feel nothing. I you cut out. Yeah, I don't I don't know what you just said. I you completely cut out. Hello chat, how are you? So I can't see what you're saying. Your computer have virus? No, just oh. being slow. Uh so um straw like, you can tell it hit him, but, like, it looks like it really didn't do that much damage, which is weird, because you can tell that it did do a lot of damage. Oh, but Shra's just like, he yeah. Misses, he has resistance. Okay. No, he has the heart. Oh, right. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> what does the heart do? Uh, basically just gives him extra HP. Oh. It, it puts him from literally only having, like, 9 HP more than Rahadeen to he does not have over 200 HP and less has like 174. So how, so he has a, so he, like if with a guesstimate he has what a, amount of HP? Like around a little uh, less 200? Sub 150 is the best I can give you. Yeah, because right now, isn't right the now, heart he isn't the heart an extra fifty? Uh, the the heart is the heart pumps him up only to I think about one seventy four. Like I said, I, I I think it's only forty actually. I mean, you can check because it's been a hot second since I've run Curse of Strahd, so some of the details are gonna be fuzzy. But, um. Okay, no. So I think it. I think it is actually fifty. So it, so it'd be one eighty. Which that damage would still buff. That actually makes my job a lot easier because thirty eight is easier to subtract from eighty or one eighty four. Uh, he's at like one forty five. I'm just calculating the heart and his health different. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, if that's the case, then he's untouched. Yeah, he's untouched. Um, um the heart has eleven left. Uh, yeah, so the heart would basically be just okay. So over from that. He actually, so he has, he still he has, has forty. Yeah, he still has his his base number, but the heart get, is the is heart gets heart. absorbed. All right, okay, fuckers, roll initiative. All right, I'm gonna spend uh, before y'all get your final numbers. I want basically Belwar and all his allies. So Teddy, Shizuka, Sir Godfrey, everyone. 
Uh, I'm going to spend seven PSI points, and I want you to add ten to your initiative. Holy, all right, cool. <laughs> Thanks. All right. And that's and I already have. Oh a plus yeah, five no, Will has a and plus, plus five too. Okay, then this will be a plus fifteen and a yeah. plus thirteen. Uh, okay, that's a thirty. Oh wait, no, sorry. Will has a plus nine to initiate. <laughs> now, okay. now it's a plus nine. Okay, so that's a that's a thirty for Shizuka. Okay. Um. God, this is and, so broken because uh, fucking Strahd out here can only roll at maximum of twenty four. Uh, that's uh, all right, that's Belwar with a 26. 26 for... Oh, okay. God, Teddy as well. Uh, and then Son Will... of a bitch! Let me get his stuff pulled up. Oh, so no! No! Shrod, why? Why have you done this? Oh, that's good numbers. Okay. Okay. Dad, we that's good numbers for you because and... Shrod just rolled a goddamn three. I mean, Will rolled a 34. <laughs> God, this is so dumb. God. Okay, so roll, roll for serving right. on three. And Get ready for a healthy serving of... Get ready for basically no, everyone is going before this man. Yeah. Get ready for a healthy serving of... Uh, no, I'm gonna money. state, this man's first action, before even you guys do anything, is just to move down into the fucking floor. You can't call actions before anyone's turn has been taken. What is he? What did he say? He's trying to call an action before anyone's done anything. The only problem is yeah. even legendary yeah. actions only work at the end of someone else's turn. All right, no fair one enough. Gone, no yeah. one has gone yet. Not even Will with a 34. Okay, so right now it's what? It's Will, Shizuka, Belwar. Teddy. And then whatever Plebis and uh, Sir Godfrey roll. I have a lot to roll here. Enough. Give me a minute. Yeah, no. Take your time. He may not have a vampire spawn because I can't get the sap lock up. You can't find the or you can't get the statistics of a vampire spawn to pull up. No, it's being really slow because I'm having to have a whole bunch of tabs open. I'm just gonna exit out of the curse of straw manual for now. Also, I need to make sure this is correct. Is the Divine Smite just add an extra 1d8? Uh, or is it... no. It's, uh, the initial smite is you burn a spell, you burn a level 1 spell slot for 2d8. Okay. And then for each spell slot above first level, you add another d8. And then if it's undead, you add another d8, which Strahd is. But okay, so the highest damage you can get on a smite, it maxes, it caps out at, like, 5d8 but i don't know that I you think can... that's actually how much i have looking at it right now that's i think that's how much i have oh wow nice so that would be so, so if, if you so... burned a third level spell slot and hit an undead you'd hit max 
Okay, so then I could max out. That would be a total of six D8 because there's the original D8. Oh yeah. <laughs> plus, if you wanted so to divide, plus if you wanted to branding. No, no more than that. No. Uh, true. Plus, how much branding? Uh, plus, uh, because basically, uh, how many third level spell slots do you have? Let's see. I know I have at least two. No, I have three. Okay, so you can do what we like to call the double smite jamboree. Uh, I oh, yes, I know it well. The Sir Godfrey also knows it well. Yeah, um, so what's gonna end up happening, basically, yeah, so with Branding Smite, since it's a second level spell, I believe, if memory serves me correctly, then what you can do is you can expend it to a third level spell slot to bring it up to 3d8, mm -hmm. uh, doing a total of just off of Smite damage, 8d8. Which is why people only play paladins as spellcasters for, for smites if they want a power build. Mm -hmm. Because what ends up happening is some, like, lich puts up his fists like he's about to box you and goes, Give us your best shot, knave! And then you just go, Poof, and just yeah. smack him across the head with divine smite. You go, it's like... Spitch empty. You hear me? <laughs> well, it's even better now that they, uh... In Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, added a optional rule where you can smite with ranged attacks as well. So if anything is this bitch empty, loads revolver. Yeah. Yay. Okay. All right, Sir Godfrey, being slow as hell. Uh, hey, how much does Sir Copy get to add to his roll? What? How much does Sir Godfrey get to add to his roll? Okay, tell you what. I, your audio... How much does Sir Godfrey get to add to his roll? Dex plus 10. I don't know what his dex is. Neither do I, that's the problem. So it's 10 plus his dex plus a d20. Okay, alright, yeah. Basically, he's rolling. Same with Peebus. I mean... Well, Peebus man rolled a 9. 10, 11. So, what? 21? Yeah. Oh my... That is so faster than Shroud, who rolled a 7. A lot of things are going to be faster than Shroud. If that man rolled a 3 plus his dex, he's being pretty slow. Oh, no... <laughs> this is this is not good for the home team. No. He might actually get wrecked so he might not have a turn. He might not. He might just die before he gets a turn. I mean I he'll get a turn because he could do a thing. He can do legendary actions, but even then his legendary actions from what I remember are subpar at best. Yeah, but I can make sure that they at least get a turn. I mean, good luck. All right. I'm so, I'm still rolling. You're still rolling. All right. I have a lot of stuff to roll. Yeah. Okay. The vampire spawn is somehow outspeeding Strahd. <laughs> 15, 16, 17, 18. Is Gregory out here like, don't worry, master, I will go in front of you. Oh, oh Rahadine! Did Rahadine get high or really low? Uh, oh! Oh, I hate it! Lower than Strahd. No, that he's the same speed, but oh. like... They, they were not prepared for this adventuring party to turn into, like, fucking SEAL Team 6. Dude, Shizuka, like, was just like, alright, let's go, and then just, like, beat- I'd like them. to say, I said Rahadeen, because this man rolled a fucking one. Thankfully, he has a plus six to death. <laughs> yeah, no, basically. I was like, oh, oh why? He got the same initiative as Strahd? Yes! Like, oh. Shizuka now here at a 7, like, oh boy, hopefully they aren't faster than us. 
Shizuka like was just like I bet and turned into fucking Escanor from Seven Deadly Sins. Like the right, Will man. Is out here, Will is out here fucking like thirty four. You know that scene in My Hero Academia where Deku just becomes lightning? Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, that's you. Will. <laughs> yeah, no, and and uh, what's it? Shizuka is All Might when he's angry. Like the fu like it's just it's just his smile upside down. <laughs> When when Strahd's at like very low HP, Shizuka just runs up and United States of smashes him in the head. What's gonna happen? <laughs> Fucking die, that's what happened. Alright, uh, okay, who's so going first? Rolling. Will's you gonna go first. Because with a plus 19 to initiative, nothing is fucking outspeeding you. Uh, did Will roll high enough for the thing? Oh, he did. Just barely. God damn it! Why did he uh, have to roll the highest out of everybody? Son of a bitch. What's the thing? All right. Oh no! One can will do what will does best. It's it's up to you. What is he doing? Oh, he's using his ability. I know what he's you, doing, duh. You you just use you just see Will like without his gun and in this like loud and echoing like ethereal voice just say, It's high noon. <laughs> high noon. Duh. The way you said it. High noon. Yeah. Uh, okay. High noon, duh. What is Strahd's AC? Uh, his AC, as you already know, because this man literally cannot miss with this fucking gun, is a 16. <laughs> okay. Gonna be 20 plus 14. Okay. Um. Okay, that's gonna hit. I'm gonna take a minus 5 penalty and dump all my grit points into this. Just tell me the end damage output. Uh, oh, what am I getting a damage output? I didn't crit, but it is... Uh, it's enough. Let's see, I burned four grit points. So it is... Uh... 6d8 plus... 18. Alright, roll. Oh, I'm rolling. Uh, so for that first hit, the first hit of Will's, you know, continuous barrage, Strahd takes 53 damage. Uh, so the heart takes... God, okay. Heart can only take, like... 11 left. left. So how much would be left over? So, it's just a meet- uh, so 53, so, yeah, 42 would carry over to Strahd. Alright, so, you kinda see Strahd going, uh, uh. Yeah, just, he, he's like, this man is expecting, like, you will not be able to conquer the, com the combined might of the hearts of darkness. Forget and the master of Raven, and then the bullet hits him, and he's like, oh, he conquered it! <laughs> oh, that's the heart! That's the heart! First person! <laughs> oh, yep, there goes the heart! All right, next roll is... Uh, how much? How much? How much? How much? Damage did he take? Yeah. The heart? 42. 43, sorry. Oh! 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 Oh, no! Forget Strahd. the turn! Fuck! Oh. Forget the turn. Strahd might not even make it through the first person. God, no! Um, oh, why? Why? Next, why? next attack, kiddos. <laughs> um, plus 14. Take a minus 5. And next attack. That is 17 damage. Okay, that's significantly less, but it is still yikes numbers for Strahd. Basically, everything I could on that initial hit. If this man is already sub 100. Oh boy. 
Like I, I said, you will definitely get a turn, I'll tell you that. For, uh, oh, wait, hold well, on, sorry. Uh, not 17, 27, because I forgot about the plus 10. Can so you, basically, you whatever could, he's at right now, subtract 10. Listen, do you think you could, do you think it's possible you could get him down to sub 24? I mean, sub, well, sub yeah. 64, sub 64? Yes. Okay, um, I have a definite chance to just kill him outright with my, with my thing. Mm, I'm gonna see what I can do first. Um, so did you hear what I said, Noah? What? Uh, yeah, he has 74 left now. 74? Okay, so you, you oh, heard yeah. what I said about the sharpshooter feat? Yeah. Neat. Um, okay, that's a 27 to hit. Take a minus 5 reduction. Uh, another 27 damage. That's three attacks down. How many do we have? Uh, how many does he have left? Yes. Uh, three? Uh, wait, five. Holy shit. Oh my god, you're going to kill this man. Uh, He's not gonna make it. Okay, okay, next attack. Is a does a thirty hit? You are trying to hit a sixteen. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to hear you rage. Uh, minus five again. Uh, twenty nine damage. Oh my god! It keeps going higher. This man's gonna crit for his final shot, and Strahd's just gonna fucking explode. Buddy, he has eighteen health left. What? <laughs> Will just came in here and fucking crossed this man with his gun. Okay, the finishing hit on the boss before Will is even done with his total amount of attacks. God, fuck this man. Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, what did you say his AC was? A goddamn 16. 2 plus 14. I'm not gonna take the minus reduction. Exact hit. Oh no. Oh, he's lucky. 16 damage. He lives one more attack. <laughs> Is that the end of your turn? Uh, no. I still have three more attacks to go. Oh my god! Why? Attack number five. Why? Why? <laughs> Strahd what? Is dead. 24 damage. Strahd is dead. Dude, fuck Strahd. That would have taken half the health off a of fucking Tarask. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Tarrasque. when you realize that a Tarask is basically just glorified 600 HP. Congratulations, yeah. this man has a negative 22 HP. <laughs> okay, now time for Rahadine. I have two more attacks left. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I mean, Rah Rahadine's still around. 19 hit Rahadine. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, that was adding in the sharpshooter. Um, uh, 28 damage. Mm, okay. Yeah, no, he, he's burnt out all of his, like, Damage modifiers, really, except for the sharpshooter feet. Unless he manages to get a crit here. At which point, ouch. Um. Let's see what we can get. Uh, 13 plus 14, 28 minus the 5 for the sharpshooter. Oh, that's actually pretty low for damage. 23. I mean, he's already sub-100. I mean, that's finally the end of Will Maddox's turn. Will Maddox in one turn just fucking murdered Strahd? Yeah, no. In one turn, murdered Strahd and his heart. He just channeled the might of a like, actual god and then proceeded to fire straight through Strahd. Which is funny, because this man does not believe in a god. 
Well done. What? Well, uh, do you do you mean Strahd? No, Will. Oh, Will. Well um. So I'm I'm gonna go back to Strahd for a second. I'm gonna go back to Strahd for a second. You like put a hole through this man's fucking chest. He's like, mm, mm. yeah. I'm 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 going to die. I I really did not think that this was going to happen, but you did it. My man just my man just gave a generic like villain video game villain just give it your best shot, and then you see Will's eyes just perk up and he goes shot, and then just. Uh, this man also says some. Um, there is there is special place in hell for me. Special place. He's just like I see. I must go. I'd imagine he like stumbled off of his throne and just just like, Mister Rahadeen. I don't feel so good. Rahadeen, I'm gonna roll for Rahadeen here for a second. Oh. This man gets that special treatment because dear Lord, what the. Fuck did you just do? Just watched his master get shot to death in front of him, like it's fucking Chicago, and then got shot twice. Is a Rahadine an undead as well? Yes, an elf. They live really long. Oh, okay. So then that's okay. That's minus one d8 then. I still get seven. Give me a second. Give me a second. Life that you can get within melee range. Like what? I said, give me a second. Uh, smite or melee. So I was saying, if you can get within melee, unless Noah allows range smites. No. Okay, so yeah, you'd have to get within melee distance, and I, well, because I, because Rahadim was the one that let us in. So he probably is within melee range. Not only that, I have a really long lance that I'm using. I'm not using, I am not using my, I'm not using Sir Reginald, I'm using the Lance, because Sir Reginald is going to attack by himself. Reginald, if, if Rahadim doesn't die by getting two bullets sent straight through his vital organs, he dies because some, rip, like, probably pretty retarded and horny drow shoves a lance through his neck, and then he just hears this sword psychically in his mind go, Oi, 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 what the hell is then? And then just, like, Get him twice in the face and just cause him to like slide farther down the land. Not only that, after that you hear her say, her say "United States of Smash," which she doesn't know what that means, and then just she sees Tritherium. Oh, oh, poor, 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 poor Rahadin. Oh, the last thing, the last thing he sees is Tritherium's fucking finger. He's just leaning at him. Right. Shizuka sends a fucking hole So, the I... Castle. You know, after Rodin, after experiencing what the fuck he just experienced... His master that he's known for a hundred Got to... Years got the special SS plus treatment of rolling on the indefinite madness table. Uh, this man, congratulations, says... <clears throat> I can't take anything seriously. The more serious the situation, the funnier I find it. So he just starts cackling like a madman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this man died, he's like crying, but then eventually he's going <laughs> Oh boy. Like, he is, like, laughing really hard now. I'd like to imagine when Shizuka does United States of Smash, she just does what fucking Omni-Man did to Red Rush, and just... Alright, okay, so what are you... Who's going next? Uh, next would be Shizuka with, what, 30? Yeah.
Hmm? All right, hold on, I'm doing it. I might use a dice roller for this. That is a 46 times 2. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, 92. 92. This man had 84 health left. You said Rodney lying with your lands. Your iron strikes. I'm smashed. I'm going to say Rodney is still laughing. There's just a vampire spawn staring all confused. He's like, he, she's like, I'm, she basically, what she did was like, I'm happy you're at, you're able to make life yeah. a terrible I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay. Way. Like, at this rate, the vampire spawn is like, fuck this, I want to live. <laughs> he, oh boy, he's not gonna get the chance to try and run. Basically, what just happened to Shizuku was like, I'm happy you're able to make light of such a terrible situation for yourself. Unfortunately, that will not save you. <laughs> yes, I made it. You are a second attack, and like I said, there's just a vampire spawn standing here. Mind you, a full turn in D&D &D is six seconds. In the course of six seconds, a vampire who has been alive for like 3,000 years just got shot to death like it was Chicago, and then his like right-hand man, who he's known for a good chunk of those years, just got like turned to ashes by some drow with a lance. This poor fucking vampire spawn. Yeah, like I said, the vampire spawn is like, no, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> oh, he won't be here anymore for long. Cause Shizuka gets a second attack and then uh, Reginald and then Belwar. This poor vampire spawn. Uh, get a sec. So, Rahadin is dead, correct? Yeah, Rahadin died. Okay. Like I said, it is just the vampire spawn left. And you get two attacks. Okay, Mr. Sir. I will give you... Attack number two. Oh boy, this poor fucking vampire spawn. You, give, you get ten seconds to tell me a joke. And if you make me laugh, I'll think about letting you live. My entire existence, says the vampire spawn. Uh, what the fuck just happened? That's a good joke. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> this man, like, was slowly itching towards the door. Oh, fuck, maybe, maybe, maybe. Alright. Hey, just a side question while Lucas is calculating the damage for probably Sir Reginald the Lance. Yeah, the Lance. And this is if this is... vampire spawn survived, just one random question. Are we on the side of the castle that is facing the waterfall? Why? Like out the windows? Sure. Cool. If this thing somehow has sub 20 or like is still alive by its turn i'm gonna do some funny things on belwar's turn and then just tell everyone to wait no oh, he's dead that's 43 damage because i have i have an extra d8 because he's undead uh vampire spawn have like wait how much hp do vampire spawn have they have like 75 right no wait yeah that's true he might actually not be dead 82 okay he's fine oh wait what Wow, they have more HP than I remember. Oh, well. How much damage? I mean, yeah, it's 40, what, 40, you said 42 damage? 43. 43, Jesus. 30. Yeah, no, that is about half of his health. Yeah. And that was, that was a non-crit, too. That was, the, I rolled a 17. Ah. All right, now it's Sir Reginald's turn. <laughs> He's not gonna make it to Belwar's turn. Yeah, he might. I, Sir Reginald only gets the Even two. If he does, Belwar is gonna use the icon of Ravenloft to use, like, to generate a sun, and the is gonna kill him. Okay, well. Because even if he regenerates ten, he just 
he's just gonna get punched so hard. Those okay, that's a that's an eighteen and a sixteen. I, I'm assuming those will both work. Yeah. So then, and then the damage outputs would be eight and nine. So then, seventeen damage there. Okay, so you do a decent amount of damage to this vampire spawn. I mean, he's down to what, 22? Yeah. Alright, it's, um... Okay, let's see, hold on, I'm doing math in my head. Okay, so you said we're facing the waterfall. Yep. If this vampire spawn were to somehow go out the window... And fall, would he just... If, if he were, say, also having been hit by sunlight, meaning his regeneration wouldn't work... Would he fall to his death? Probably. Cool. Um, so, Belwar's gonna use... First, I'm gonna use the Icon of Ravenloft to create a sun by expending a few charges. Okay. So, you know, on his turn, he'll take, like, what, 20 damage? Yeah. Cool, so it'll be down to 9 HP. That means whatever he does next is probably gonna kill him. Um, I'm gonna do an ability called... Let's see, let me find the exact phrasing of it i believe it was in disruption no um hold on let me find the uh ability maybe it was in assault no disruption No, mm. telepathic contact. Okay, it was uh, uh, telepathic contact. I'm gonna ex expend uh, seven psi points to use mm -hmm. uh, psychic domination. Okay. Uh, have that vampire spawn make me an intelligence saving throw. Uh, this man has a flat intelligence. Okay, can you make an 18? He rolled a 16, he damn tried. Okay, so I'm gonna read you what Psychic Domination says. As an action, you target one creature you can see within 60 feet of you. The target must succeed on an intelligence saving throw, or you choose the creature's actions and movement on its turns until your concentration ends. At the end of each of its turns, it can repeat the saving throw, ending the effect on itself on a success. A creature is immune to this ability if it is immune to being charmed. So, um... It's gonna go, guys, guys, guys. Don't attack the vampire spawn. Let it, it's, it's gonna do something funny. Okay. We all skip, and then well, it comes I mean, to Teddy. So it's left to Plebus and Sir Godfrey. Uh. Oh wait, and and Teddy. But I mean, I'm guessing Teddy is just like, all right, yeah, I won't hurt it. Teddy. Teddy hasn't even been paying attention since he hit Strahd. Teddy, Teddy's just been sitting by where Strahd was like sitting down. Yeah. Oh wait, he would have been like right next to Strahd when Strahd got fucking gunned down. He's just like, what the fuck, Will? He's still invisible, too. <laughs> He's just sitting here invisible like, what? So do Sir Godfrey and, uh... Sir Godfrey does. Oh, Plebis looks at you and is like, no, you're insane. I'm, I'm controlling its mind. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna have it get burned by the sunlight and then throw itself out a window. So, like, what this man does... You know, if he does enough damage, it's just gonna flat out not have enough for the Radiant. <sighs> Believe this, I swear, if you killed my fun. Being the, you know, being the gunslinger that he is, looks at it and is like, no, this thing must die. I mean, if he rolls low enough... If this thing has... A 18 plus 3, that hits. 9, 10, 11, 12. Shit. 
that does not hit. Wait, what? He doesn't have two attacks. Clerics don't get a special attack, do they? He attacks twice because he has two revolvers. That's not how dual. Oh, right, because it's fighting style. Well, yeah, because one's a bonus attack. Hopefully, he rolls low on damage because if this thing has 21 HP at least, I get to do the fun thing of it throws itself out a window. The last thing you watch this vampire do is stare at everyone and then just. What's even better is if it if it rolled high enough, it would just like just smash through, take bludgeoning damage, and you just see this. <laughs> oh, is it just barely alive? Please. This man, like, takes two shots and this thing fucking dies. Shit! All right, leave it. You're no fun. I was gonna throw it out the window. Oh, that was a waste of seven psi points. You're no fun. Congratulations! That is the end of Curse of Strahd. To be fair, it's not like you would have been using them. True. <laughs> uh, that vampire slum was dead from the start. I just wanted to, you know... Let God, the what was them. that ending? What was that what ending? Did he even try to roll? Well, even he just rolled an attack. I, you, I told you outright what I was gonna do. Because I looked at Puyvis and I was like, well, he's the kind of man who would just be like, no, this is a vampire squad, I shoot man it. has listened to me for all, like, this entire time, and the one time I say, hey, I've got this thing covered using my psychic abilities, which he's watched me use multiple times, he went, nah, and shot it dead. Look. Man. I still Look, love- I was letting the players have some fun, because the idea of- like it was Boston, not Boston. Um, what did I say? Chicago. Um, Ron Dean got turned to ash. I was like, this thing's gonna take 20 radiant damage, it's gonna have 9 HP left, then it's gonna take like 2d8 from smashing its entire body through a window. Wait, I want to see theoretically what would have happened if we had let that vampire spawn stay alive. Even if it, even if it fell into the water, even if it was still alive, if it fell into the water, it would be fucked. Oh no! Even if it didn't, even if it did, it, it probably wouldn't have even made it to the water. Because you've got to remember that thing would have had nine left and then taken like two d8 from slamming its entire body through a window. Yeah, but what I love is if it had survived, it still was a fucking well, landing in water. Because here's the thing. Solenka Falls. I believe at least that's the actual name of the falls. It's Solenka Falls. Like Solenka Pass. Hitting water at a certain speed just becomes the same thing as hitting concrete. So if that thing had not immediately died by... You know what? I'm just going to do a quick roll. Let's see. What, is, what does a vampire spawn have in... Drink. Uh, not uh, a lot. It has, uh, 16 plus 3. Okay, so, uh, what, how much, what, what do you think I should have to roll in order to break through a pretty old, pretty aged, pretty cracked glass window? Probably a, a singular D8, if I had to be honest. Uh, um, alright, I mean, yeah. I'll I've been raging, can I split this? Yeah, because uh, it's old, you gotta remember, it's already pretty broken. True, true. Okay, so let's let's see. So this thing had so if it took radiant damage, it'd be at nine. Like I said, how what, what do you think you'd have to roll on strength in order to break through that window? I don't know. You cut out. What was it? I don't know. I mean, let's let's pick a pretty average number of fourteen. Yeah. Um, it rolled an eighteen plus three. It just goes. <laughs> Takes eight, probably piercing damage from the shards of glass, and just proceeds to probably not even make it all the way down. It smashes through the glass, and because it's a jagged falls, you just watch it get basically bifurcated on a rock and just 
Alright, well that ending was insane. I'm gonna stop now. That was Curse of Shroud. That was amazing. That was I I was like, we've got a roll for pretty good. And then when I remembered, oh wait, he's making eight attacks. Just just fucking 